Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to Beat Tech. It's Basil here, and today I'm going to talk all about the S Pen and specifically about S Note. The Galaxy Note 4 has 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity. It's the most pressure sensitive smartphone or tablet on the block right now. So it makes perfect sense that we do indeed tell you how S Note, the one application that you get out of the box that really does take advantage of it, works. And we're going to really base our talk around the widget. This new widget typifies everything S Note can do. The first thing is it can open up. S Note, unsurprisingly, by tapping that little sketchbook in the left hand side. This opens up the main screen. You've got all your action memos to the left and you've got your main notebooks on the right. And as you can see, when you pull down a notebook, you get a sneak peek into what your notebook contains. You can do a whole load of stuff with your notebook. If we tap in the settings, a cog in the right hand corner, you can even do stuff like change the front cover to make it reflect the actual notes inside, or indeed you can use a predefined note or grab a picture that you've taken or have in your gallery. So that's the basics of S Note. What you can also do is you can change your template. So you can have lined paper, squared paper, you can even have pictured backgrounds and landscape or portrait templates too. Jumping back home, seeing as that's the crux of S Note itself, how do you actually input stuff into S Note? Well, you can either do that through the application or from the widget, you can just press on the pen. That pen icon will usually be the last pen that it remembers you having used. The default pen is a fountain pen. Indeed, this is an addition that is new to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. You can use your finger as a navigation tool and just use your pen for writing. So this, is a, and then we can use our finger to move that across, T E S T. And it's a really, really nice writing tool for a few reasons. You can see as we scribble across and zoom right in, it is semi-opaque, so it's really reflective of where an actual fountain pen writing on paper, but you don't have any of that scratchiness. Instead, the interaction from the S Pen nib is really nice and smooth. If we pull out of that, you can see you've also got a whole bunch of pens that you can use. You've got a regular fountain pen, you've got a calligraphy pen, um, you've also got a ballpoint pen, a pencil, and you've got a highlight pen or a marker. You can also see a calligraphy brush and a correction pen, which is basically an eraser. So if we open up our pencil tool, we can also jump out of this. We can make a new template, so blank template, for example. Um, and we can start drawing. And the pencil tool really is one of the nicest for just drawing on because it is, well, a lot like a pencil. You can just scribble on here and probably one of the best things about it is just the ease with which people can pick this up and get drawing. Anyone who's seen our prior videos will know we're huge fans of just sketching out an eye in order to gauge how easy it is to sketch on an application. And you can see we take a very rough, sketchy um, kind of attitude and approach to testing out these things. And indeed, the Galaxy Note 4 and S Note combined make for a really just simple, nice sketching experience, very scribbly. As you can see, we can also get some shading in there. And if we want to go one step further than just cross hatch shading, we can actually grab our um, um, highlighter tool and jump back and go right in there and we can shade in. And what's nice again with the highlighter tool, you're going to be able to do stuff like overlay because you can control the opacity of it. So that's a very, very quick insight into actually drawing. This isn't going to be a time-lapse sketching video. Oh no, that'll come later. We can close that really quick note and we can show you probably the coolest thing about the sketchbook application. And that is how it utilizes the Samsung Galaxy Note 4's camera. So bringing the Note 4 into frame, we can tap through on the center tool within that widget and we can take a very, very snappy picture. What we can then do is we can crop in on that picture to the specific element that we want. And that is that Note 4. If we press a tick, it's going to optically or recognize what it thinks that we want from that picture. So we can press OK, but we think we want a little bit more. So we can actually override that if we so choose. Like so, just grab a slightly wider area so it doesn't miss anything out. And it saved it, as you can see. 
Now it's saved something on the end that we maybe don't want so much, but we can convert that to an editable layer. And then we can very, very easily just grab that single element along the side and delete it. So what we're left with is an editable layer Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And what we can do is we could tidy this up or a lot more fun than tidying it up, we could make it red and make it a little bit thicker. What we can also do is we can grab certain elements. So bearing in mind this was a picture not more than a few seconds ago and we can change the size of the Samsung specifically and make the Samsung practically as big as the Galaxy Note 4. Super cool stuff and it is it can be pretty useful if you're in a more design centric environment and you need to do stuff on the fly, don't have the power of a computer to hand. That's pretty neat going. Jumping out of that and you can open up S Note straight into text taking. So we can either do it by hand. So this is a test and you can see it's gonna get it perfectly. It's got really, really great handwriting recognition. And finally, the coolest thing about this little widget, this is a test. This is a test. There we go, we got there in the end. So as you can see, it grabbed everything that we said in that moment and it's throwing all that into um, S Note so that we can then edit it ourselves later. Um, and indeed, if it does get something wrong, as it did, it got our tes test and turned it into a 10, we can just correct that, delete it, etc. So pull back and we can finally jump out of S Note for the last time. So that's the basics of S Note. There are additional things you can do. We haven't covered absolutely everything, but what we have covered is the majority of new stuff in S Note and the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Hopefully you've enjoyed and hopefully you found it useful. If you've got any questions about the Galaxy Note 4 or the S Note application, fire them in the comments section below and stay tuned to BTEC where we talk you through a whole bunch of other stuff in Samsung's brand spanking new Galaxy Note 4. Thanks for watching.